barriers to access and housing are not limited to unfair treatment in the sale and rental of housing. Barriers can also be found in abusive and predatory lending practices that can cause financial hardship and in many cases cost an individual the opportunity to live in their home. With many lending scams in the marketplace, it's important to know the difference between a legitimate opportunity and a predatory or abusive lending practice. Uh, we purchased uh, the home after, uh, you know, we have two kids and uh, just wanting them to have a stable life and a secure life and getting a home and building on top of that. Predatory lending is a threat to fair housing because uh, predatory lending generally targets the people who are most vulnerable and who are intended to be benefited by the fair housing laws. Uh, mainly minorities, other first-time home buyers, uh, people who are new to the housing market and who are moving oftentimes out of uh, areas which were affected by discriminatory housing practices uh, into the places where they want to live, the places where they want their families to grow up. And predatory lending has a tendency to disrupt that and uh, frustrate those dreams and sometimes force those families apart. Predatory lending refers to abusive lending practices that deceive borrowers about the terms of their loans. Through aggressive selling techniques, the lender may convince a borrower to accept unfair loan terms. So how can you avoid predatory and unfair lending practices? Follow these steps provided by Freddie Mac's Don't Borrow Trouble campaign. First, say no to easy money. Second, always talk to several lenders to find out the best loan. Never sign any documents without reading them first. And finally, ask about additional fees. Last year in October, uh, my husband had a stroke and we were just getting back on our feet at that time, trying to build up again. I also uh, was working two other jobs to try to keep up with the house payment. Our payments were getting further and further behind. I thought my world was gonna fall apart. After choosing and receiving a loan, sometimes a borrower may not be able to keep up with the payments for the loan. There are many common predatory scams that target borrowers who are struggling to keep their homes. Some scams to look out for include modification scams, home title scams, equity skimming foreclosure rescue scams, and foreclosure rescuers. Well, these subjects we've been talking about, the Fair Housing Act, Fair Lending, uh, Predatory Lending, there's the Truth in Lending Act, a lot of other concepts are related and they're all intended to make sure people have a uh, reasonable opportunity to own property and live where they want and to stay in those properties uh, for as long as, they, as long as they can. Something people should always remember about these laws and whoever they're dealing with, whether it's a lender, a broker, uh, an attorney, is that all of these companies, all these people have someone else to answer to. And so there are ways to assert your rights. There are ways to make complaints. There are agencies, uh, nonprofits such as Inland Fair Housing that can investigate and take help with claims or can at least refer people to the proper avenue. There are a lot of regulations uh, and I know it's difficult, but uh, it's up to individuals to assert their rights and take advantage of those regulations and those governmental bodies that do exist to, to monitor these abuses.